Welcome to another episode of Real Mass TV, brought to you in part by Warren Home Inspections with your host, Adam Morey and Matt Smith. Real people, real stories, real mass, and here's Adam. Welcome back, Massachusetts, to another episode of Real Mass TV, a Real Mass production brought to you proudly by Warren Home Inspections of Ashland, Massachusetts, home of the 48-hour guarantee. I'm Adam Morey, your host. And I'm Matt Smith, your co-host. And by the way, Adam, welcome back from South Beach. Welcome back from Florida. I, 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 I saw on Facebook that I'm you sorry. had had, had I, I'm, gone to South Beach. I'm laughing for a reason. I'll tell okay. you in a minute. I just got to collect myself. I, I, I actually was not in South Beach. I, I decided to pull but, a little. But Facebook said you were in South Beach. I, I just want some quiet time. You know, I just really want some quiet time. I want to stay home, take a little staycation okay so it looked like a vacation but it was actually a staycation yeah i i just i disconnected shut the phone off checked into south beach put a couple of fake places up there with some pictures i found on google i thought it'd be fun just to be quiet for a while not let anybody bother me if they figured i was out of town they'd be either be jealous because i was in warm weather when we were dealing with a nasty spring i don't know thought it'd be fun so you just checked in saying you were at South Beach, but you've not, you didn't actually go. No, I didn't go anywhere. I stayed right here. I didn't even know you could do that with Facebook. Yeah, it's amazing. How many more people thought you were in South Beach? Obviously, I can't be the only one you fooled. Otherwise, I'm going to feel like a real idiot. Well, but... I'll tell you what. I still got a lot of random Facebook waivers. Yeah. A messenger. I got a lot of waves. People were waving at me. From the South Beach area? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'll tell you. Eight to ten an hour. I still you're get the, the lone waivers. They say hello. I can't let that go. That's so right, you're a local celebrity, man. I get around, man. Oh. I was there and back like that. Local no. celebrity. Go to South yeah, Beach. And... Enough enough about me. I was not in South Beach. Where were you? I was right here. I figured, all right, as long as he gets back to film, I guess I'll see him in a couple of days. <laughs> so I was weathering the storm, and I figured that, you know, he's lucky because he doesn't have to have to worry about any snow. Well, I love Massachusetts, man. I do, but every once in a while, we'll have to get away. Yeah. It's a great place we live, but we do need vacations. And Anyhow. Let's, let's get back to the show here. We have a great show prepared for you, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much for tuning in. We have tonight, we have Chad Casanova, 17-year-old motocross champion in New England. He's uh, He's got quite the story. He went through a lot, Matt, uh, with his, uh, you, you were here earlier uh, with his father and everything. It, it was a real rough time growing up, but and there he is up on the screen there. He went through a rough, very rough pass, and he persevered, and he won his New England title last fall with the uh, MX Championship. So we're very happy to have him on. He's got a great story to tell. He's one of our unsung heroes. Uh, fall with him, we have Mr. Who is it? The country guy. Timmy Brown. Timmy Brown. He's got a great voice. Mr. TB, yes, Timmy Brown. He just got back from Nashville. He, he did give us some time tonight to come play on the show. We're on a quick interview with him, and we're going to hear him perform on the stage tonight. He's going to play one of his new songs you haven't heard yet. It's going to be awesome. Uh, before we take a quick break for our sponsors, I wanted to let you know, Massachusetts, we've seen the Facebook posts, the comments. We're going. Matt and I are going to be coming out to your community and visiting the businesses that you recommend and the fun places that you take your kids. And we're going we're going to do some filming. We're going we're gonna, out. We're going to check these places out. We're going to have some good eats, good times, shake some hands, and kiss some babies. Getting out of the studio. That's right. Get out of the studio. Yes. Um, when we get back from a quick break from our sponsors, we're going to have Chad Casanova on the couch. Please stay tuned. Hey everybody out there, it's Dan McNulty from Lux Auto Plus. Hopefully you've already seen some videos of mine out there on Facebook. Listen, I want to let you know I'm part of a great opportunity for local business owners and local artists trying to get a little bit more exposure out there. Don't forget, if you do need a new vehicle or if you need some help with financing getting, and getting into a vehicle, feel free to get a hold of me, Dan McNulty or Dan the Man as they all like to call me, at Lux Auto Plus. So stay tuned to the season ahead for Real Mass, and please inquire if you're looking for a little more exposure. Welcome back, Massachusetts. We are here with Chad Castellanova, our first guest of the evening. Chad, thanks so much for being here. We appreciate your time greatly. Thank you very much. We've got a great show tonight. Thanks so much for coming. Oh, there you are right up there on the TV. Look at that. Is that you? Yeah. Is it, which me. one's you up there? That. White bike. The white bike right white there. Bike. It's number one. 123Y. 123Y. Chad is joining us. He is from the town of Sterling, Massachusetts, not too far from our filming location here at Real Mass Studios. Uh, Chad, uh, you grew up out in Sterling. 
Yep, okay. I started there when I was about five years old, but before that I was in um, acting in Littleton, okay. I believe, but I don't really remember much of my life before then. So it's you, You've like, got quite the story yeah. to tell, quite the story to tell. Uh, Chad, he grew up in Strong, Massachusetts. Uh, he got into dirt biking. How old were you when you got into the I was what? two years old when I started riding dirt bikes. What started um, the dirt biking? Basically, my dad got me into it when I was very, very, very young, and we started off with like a little Suzuki little dirt bike and slowly just worked our way up and i've been training for this basically since i was like five <laughs> wow it's amazing thank you it's amazing i started off with a little mini bike myself as a little 50 dollar purchase at the town auction at the church and it was a, it was a cat trail 50. Mm -hmm. yeah good stuff I, I never really took it as far as you did for uh, for the viewers at home in case you don't know chad is new england motocross champion it's uh Got a plaque right here. He won. He won last year, 2017 NESC MX 450. That's pretty impressive. That's motocross, right? Yep. Um, I actually finished up my season on October 28th of 2017 this year, and I ended up winning my 450B championship by two points. Um, once my throw day, throwaway day was done. Now it's 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 cool that, that you've done all this. You've you've hit the top. You've uh, you've won a championship last fall. Um, but Chad has a very interesting story. Chad overcame a lot to get where he is today. And, and if I'm not mistaken, I, if it's too much, it's fine. You know, the viewers at home. Uh, we had a conversation off camera earlier. Chad uh, recently he found out that you know he was your father. He had a, was mm -hmm. living a double life, right? Yeah, he was living a double life with another woman for about six years prior to even like really knowing about it. So, I mean, basically throughout six years, we didn't know that he was living the double life. But then once we found wow. out that it was like, it, it was a really big shock to us. Now, how do you, how do you persevere and, and stay on the dirt bike and follow your dreams knowing all that? That must have been like a, like a, like a smack in the face kind of, you know? Just yeah. Like I mean, that though, motocross is like my one thing to get away from everything it's kind of like a it musician really, behind yeah, the instrument yeah it really helps me get away from like all my issues and stuff um it's just that adrenaline rush that never stops while you're out on the track that really helps me so the dirt bike was the your coping mechanism yes to forget and distract you from reality yeah that's amazing that's amazing and now how did you how did you fall through with it after your dad well, obviously your dad brought the mini bike into the equation when you were very young two years old but how did you who helped you out? Who was your mentor thereafter? Was it just you? Basically, my father helped me until I was like 13 years old or so, maybe a little bit younger. And then at that point, I already had like big dirt bikes. So okay. I was like on big bikes and just needed to keep going with my dream. And basically, once he was out of the picture, it's been my grandmother and my grandfather that have been helping me with a lot of the stuff for like bike parts and you know actually getting me to the so you've had some such. support you've had some yeah. people in your life your family yeah. stepped up to the plate yeah they supported your dream and what you wanted to do yes now why would you say you do what you do after all that's happening most people you know they would cower down they, they would hide behind something and not you know uh get anything more out of life they just get depressed yeah how did you how did you face that you must have been depressed how did you face that how did the you depression overcome it? was pretty hard to come through but once i actually did get through it um i started really bringing myself to a point where it was like i focused on motocross as my one thing that helped me so much so i had to keep riding that was my one thing that kept me like sane basically was riding a dirt bike chad you you sir you are an unsung hero you are Thank is you. it and you know is is there anything you want to tell the viewers at home like uh you're 17 correct Mm -hmm. 17 years old won his first new england title of motocross um why do you why do you ride now what's the point of keep riding? Are you doing it for yourself i don't really do it for myself honestly like i do do it for myself but at the same time i do it for my family and i love how everything is just like coming together slowly and i ended up being able to achieve a championship and now i'm going to try to get my professional license in motocross oh. so is there anything you want to tell the viewers at home? Uh, they can follow you maybe on a Facebook or social. Um, you can follow me on Facebook at, at Chad Castellanova. Um, on Instagram, it is Chad underscore Castellanova.
I think that's really it, unless you go to YouTube, and then that's also Chad underscore Castellanova. So okay. that's okay. all three of them. He's got a very long last name. We will put it in the comments section when you watch this on YouTube, folks at home. Yeah, it's um, a little hard. It's, it's awesome. 11 letters. So. That's awesome. Well, thanks so much for coming on. Uh, folks at home, Chad, motocross champion New England right here from Strong, Massachusetts. We'll be back with Mr. Timmy Brown after a quick break from our sponsors. Thank you. Welcome back, Massachusetts. We are here with our second guest of the evening, Mr. Timmy Brown from Norton, Massachusetts, one of the, the biggest up-and-coming country music stars uh, out there right now. We're super happy to have him here. Tim, thanks so much for being on the show tonight. Thanks for having me. Appreciate Pleasure. it. Yeah, yeah, awesome. So you're from Norton. Norton, Massachusetts, yeah. Norton, Massachusetts. Where, whereabouts is Norton? I, 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 um, I think about where it is. I don't know exactly where it it's is. It's like 15 minutes from Gillette Stadium. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, Fox South, Sports South, yeah. Patriots much. fan, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have season tickets, so I have to be. We recently uh, we recently caught Timmy playing down at the, the Toby Keats. Yes, yeah, so I play there every three weeks pretty much. Um, I just played there on Saturday. Awesome, yeah. 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 Toby Keats, uh, what's it called? I love this. I love this bar and grill, yeah. This bar. It's an awesome place. Awesome, awesome. So you've been doing a lot of it's exciting huge. Things. Yeah, there's like, I think the bar can fit like, 800 people or it's something a like that. Yeah. It's not even. It's like a venue. It's yeah, like a house of it's blues huge. Yeah. It's awesome. Awesome. It's awesome. So you grew up in you grew up in Norton, Mass. Uh, yeah. Well, I was born in Attleboro, but I grew up. I was pretty much born and raised in Norton. So. Okay. All right. Perfect. Yeah. Now, what what made you? I mean, we listened to some of your music. You, you had a couple of singles out there. Uh, what what was the most recent one? Uh, a little bit a little is bit. my uh, pretty most popular single. It has 300 in. 50,000 streams That's on awesome. Spotify. So Matt and I were just streaming that as well yes. not too long ago. He was he was dancing around the room. He yeah. loved it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, He's I, not I, a big country music guy. I like good country. You I like good country. I play, am I, am yeah, I, I would classify category you of, as good country. Okay, yes. great. Okay. Is it, now, is, it, is, it, is it country? Is it is it like old school country? Is it like today's country? What would you um, say the genre it's, is? It's modern country, yeah. Modern country. Pop okay. modern country with a little hint of rock. Yeah, see, I was That's gonna ask that as I was listening to you. What were some of your influences? Because you, you've got a, a you've got an eclectic sound for your job. Oh, yeah. So some of my influences, uh, it's a wide variety. Um, Brad Paisley, I love uh, George Strait, and then I was actually a classically trained vocally. So Josh Groban. Oh, wow. um, then I kind of just mixed them all together into my own country sound. <laughs> I, we we enjoy the music. Thoroughly. We Thank thoroughly you. I appreciate, appreciate that. Yeah. You are an artist. Matt is a former drummer. That's why he takes an interest in you music. You going to play drums today? Yeah. Not going to play drums today. No, then I'm bring it. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. So what, what made you choose uh, the music? What, what, where'd you get your start from? Um, so has? I started playing piano when I was five years old. And my father used to bring me down to Nashville about eight, nine, ten years old. And that's when I got pretty much into country music. But I uh, went to college for music education and I started to teach voice lessons and that's when I was classically trained and that that helped me with my my singing and then I got into guitar I didn't actually start playing guitar until probably three and a half years ago and then it was easier than bringing around a piano everywhere so, so what, three and a half so for three and a half years you've you've been playing the guitar yeah and you have yeah yeah that little bit it was 2016 or 17 yeah uh so yeah it was 2004 16 april 9th 2016 early quickly bit. you just well i don't play lead amazing. guitar i just yeah, act but like i know what i'm doing I playing the guitar and singing <laughs> i i can't carry a tune in a bucket and let alone play an instrument doing both at the same time that that's a talent i i i've tried it many times i do karaoke karaoke is fun karaoke if you're drunk yeah, yeah. maybe i can get on the stage with you toby keats one of these nights you can yeah. <laughs> i always have tequila on stage so awesome i yeah. give you some <laughs> Patron, yeah, Patron. That's good stuff. Ah, that is good stuff. I got. I had to take the bottle away from the set earlier because Matt. Every time he sees it, he just grabs it. He goes for it. I would too. Yeah. Yours is a musician. <laughs> what can I say? It's awesome. so. <laughs> I think that's that's got to be your kind of uh, 
description as a musician. Can you play an instrument? Can you drink tequila? Yeah. <laughs> or, or whiskey. Yeah. Can you hold? Well, can you hold yeah. liquor at all? Can you, can you hold, hold whiskey? It? Can you hold tequila? <laughs> well, that's we're a, gonna that's a true mark of a musician. <laughs> we're we're gonna hold our liquor and hold our you know whatever what have you. So uh, after we get back from a quick break from our sponsor, we're gonna enjoy some some live music from Timmy Brown on the main stage here. So please stay tuned, Massachusetts. We'll be right back with Timmy Brown. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Timmy Brown is going to be playing for us. Enjoy some music by him. I'm going to enjoy a nice pizza pizza here. <laughs> Timmy, thanks so much. Take it away. All right, this is a new song I wrote in Nashville uh, like a month ago. Uh, I haven't recorded it yet, but you guys are hearing it for the first time today. It's called That's Where You Come In. Just off of 495, right before the on the stoplight. Got a house on a piece of land that Grandpa built with his own two hands. On any given Saturday, I can take on the Ron's boat to the lake. Got a pretty damn good, they say. What good is sports when you I'm sitting there without you? What good is this king size bed if I'm swinging up alone again? I got everything. Small town dream, they can't see what I really need. Someone I can share it with, but that's where you come in. I wanna carry on my family name in the same place where I was raised. Just sipping homemade wine in the kitchen, late night talking and good night kissing. Yeah, that's the kind of thing that really does it for a guy like me. Say a word and I'll give you a key. What good is sports when you five sitting there without you? What good is this king size bed if I'm swinging up alone again? I got everything. A small town dream. They can't see what I really need. Someone I can share with That's where you come in That's where you come in Cause I got everything A small town dream They can't see what I really need What good is sports ring If I'm sitting there without you Better if I'm swinging up alone again I got everything, a small town dream They can't see what I really need Someone I can share it with Girl, that's where you come in That's where you come in Girl, that's where you come in that's where you come in. Thank you. Welcome back, Massachusetts. Thanks for joining us this evening. We had a great time with Mr. Timmy Brown and Chad Castellanova. Timmy, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Chad, awesome having you here tonight. Thanks so much. Thank you. It's been great. And until next time, it's been real mess.